Great Man of God Media TV back with another one. Listen, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, all right? Anything regarding boxing from a non-biased perspective, I try to provide commentary for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Just, just from my perspective, and I'm just a fan of the sport, and I just try to provide you guys whatever's on my mind from an unbiased perspective. So appreciate the love and support. You know what I'm saying? You can also contribute to the channel by submitting any kind of donations or whatever to my cash app, which is dollar sign G-M-O-G Fitness. All right, so listen, man, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. And, you know, I want to tell you why someone like a Jake Paul can get away with fighting Mike Tyson, somebody who is extremely past their prime. I believe he's 57, 58 years old, Mike Tyson is. And, um, you know, it's a lot of different scenarios that I want to talk about regarding this fight. But the main thing is, is that, you know, uh, a YouTuber, which is Jake Paul, because he's a YouTuber who's now fighting professionally. He has not fought a real boxer as of yet. Tommy Fury is not a real fighter. All right, Tommy Fury still wants to fight YouTubers. Tommy Fury uh, hasn't fought in a real comp. And so you fought a quote unquote real fighter, as in Tommy Fury, and you lost. And now you want to get your get back. But to actually prepare you for the fight, you want to fight somebody who's way past their prime, like a Mike Tyson. But like I said, you know, Jake Paul is the only person that can get away with that because he's a YouTuber. Simple shit, like, because, you know, a real fighter is like a Devin Haney, like a Canelo, like a Dimitri Braval, like a David Benavidez, you know what I'm saying? Terrence Crawford. There's no way in hell these guys can fight right now a YouTuber or somebody way past their prime because they'll be not only laughed at, but the legacy will be tarnished. But Jake Paul can get away with that. He's utilizing his privileges on being a YouTuber. Simple shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I usually don't be driving while I'm talking, but I just want to get this off my chest, man, because this has been on my mind ever since that fight was announced. You know what I'm saying? With Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. But, yo, um, Mike Tyson is senior citizen, man. Like, you, you knock Mike Tyson out, you get no credit for me. Not for me. Mike Tyson is way past his fucking prime. You know what I'm saying? So if you do knock this nigga out, which I expect you to do that. I expect you to knock Mike Tyson out. But at the same time, you could knock out Tommy Fury. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you can do, honestly. Uh, Jake Paul, you know, I don't know what you can, can do. Tommy Fury, you struggle with Tommy Fury. And, and listen, man, I don't know. But yeah, I expect you to do something. Get, get, get Mike Tyson out of there. Mike Tyson is still Mike Tyson, but in senior citizen form. Meaning he still has his twitch muscles, right? Meaning his muscle memory from his movements as a fighter. It's still there. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be doing his side-to-side -side movements, trying to get inside, try to throw some hooks, try to throw some uppercuts, all that stuff. He still has that, but at his, his 55, 57-year-old version of himself past his prime is going to show that, right? Um... But yeah, like I said, Jake Paul, you fighting a senior citizen, Mike Tyson, you get no goddamn credit for me. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of senior citizens, man, there was a fight between Razor Ruddick and James Tony. I think it was earlier this year, if I'm not mistaken. That was an exhibition fight. That shit was so trash, bro. It was like watching two slots fighting. It was disgusting to watch. That shit was beyond trash. And this is what boxing has come to right now. When it comes to old ass, way past their prime fighters fighting each other. And shame on to the promoters or whoever put those type of fights together. Shame on y'all motherfuckers for making fights like that. And shame on the elderly motherfuckers like James Tony and Razor Ruddy for accepting some shit like that. Of course, y'all doing it for the money, of course. You know what I'm saying? Even with Mike Tyson fighting Jake Paul. You know? Uh, Mike Tyson is a world-renowned uh, entity, and not only in sport, but he transcends the sport of boxing. And for you to fight a YouTuber like Jake Paul, you know, I mean, you can say, hey, he wants to do it because he loves fighting, or he wants to do it because of the money. Whatever the narrative is, it's Mike Tyson, you know. And and 
as a fighter, like a or, or YouTuber, as Jake Paul having Mike Tyson on your resume, hey, that's a good look for him. Despite the fact that Mike Tyson is senior citizen, you know, an elderly version of himself, it's still a name that's on his resume. You beat, you uh, potentially could beat a old ass version of Mike Tyson, right? That's what he could potentially do. You know what I'm saying? But. You know, overall, man, uh, like I said, Jake Paul can show his privileges as a YouTuber because he is a YouTuber, first and foremost, right? Fighting a way past his prime, Mike Tyson. You know what I'm saying? So I, I expect you to knock him out. I don't want to see you outboxing Mike Tyson. You should be knocking Mike Tyson out. Well, Mike Tyson should be knocking you out. Vice, either way. Somebody has to get knocked out in this fight. Somebody has to get knocked out. Simple shit. You know what I'm saying? Either way, one of y'all motherfuckers got to get knocked out. Just that simple. So, you know, like I said, man, you know, just the Jake Paul shit. I don't know, man. If this guy wants to become a real fighter, fight. A real fighter, fight a real boxer. You have yet to fight a real fighter, you know. You've been calling out Canelo for years. <laughs> you don't deserve a Canelo fight at all, you know. You're 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 in the Canelo sweepstakes like everybody else. Show that because he's in the cruiserweight division, I believe. I believe Jake Paul is in the cruiserweight division. Fight somebody in the top ten in the cruiserweight division. Fight. Somebody like this name on top of my head, that guy Apadaya, uh, who just recently fought. Fight somebody like him, or fight uh, Badu Jack. You know what I'm saying? Just fight somebody in the top ten at cruiserweight. If you want to drop to 175, you know, fight the winner of uh, Baval and Better Be If, right? Or fight David Benavidez, which I, I know you won't fight the Mexican monster for sure. <laughs> You know, one of the most highly avoided fighters out there right now is, is David Benavidez. You know what I'm saying? Um, fight somebody like that, but of course you won't. You're going to just, you know, pick and choose, uh, cherry pick who you want to fight. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you want to do. But yeah, man, you know, like I said, you're a YouTuber. And because you're a YouTuber and you're very popular... You can get away with that. The only fighter that's really a professional fighter that can kind of get away with going back to or fighting YouTubers would be Ryan Garcia. Because Ryan Garcia, he built his career off of social media, right? So someone like him who has who's extremely popular on social media, he can get away. So let's say uh, he, he loses to Devin Haney, which I think he will. I think he'll be just be completely outboxed and out, outclassed perhaps knocked down a couple times but the excuses are already built in for him you know what I'm saying mental health issues I was going through this XYZ he's already built an excuse for himself you know what I'm saying? as to why he lost so when he does lose to Devin Haney I expect him to fight some kind of YouTuber he's been calling out Jake Paul and um, Logan Paul and these other YouTubers out there I expect him to fight one of those guys next when he loses to Devin Haney and still make millions of dollars because it'll be a tricky fight fighting these youtubers especially a guy who is a professional fighter like a ryan garcia so someone like him can get away from shit like that because he built his reputation off of social media but real fighters nah they can't do that shit they can't do that shit not at all not at all you know what i'm saying so but anyway family those are my thoughts on that on jake paul versus mike tyson let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe notification bell. And make sure if you can, send any kind of cont contribution to my channel. At Cash App, dollar sign, G-M-O-G Fitness. Until next time, signing out. Peace.